Hello, biggest baby fam. I'm glad to have each and every one of you on here again. How you're doing, by the way? Like I will always say, if you're new here, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell so that you get notified every time without an interesting post about your favorite Big Brother Niger stars. Now, fam, how was your day? Or even better put, how is your day going? Um, I believe before the end of today, there will be so many beautiful reasons you want to, that would you know, make you smile. I believe today is going to be very mem memorable for a lot of us here. And I believe you say amen to that. Okay, now let's dive into what we have for today. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that Imano has had one of the most memorable trips in South Africa. Yeah, the trip that was organized by Niyi Lawal a fellow housemate or former housemate and it has been amazing can you believe that Emmanuel has been in South Africa since the 2nd of March and up to this moment and he's living today so you guys need to like you know stay tuned for the visuals on his living in South Africa indeed Emmanuel has had a very fun time in the beautiful city of Cape Town you guys south africans big ups to you guys man your country is really beautiful i mean there's so much fun people can have there and i tell you on my next my, my next vacation i'll be coming to south africa yeah man i want to see all those beautiful sights i mean cape town is so beautiful man i'm really blessed to be an african and you know it was so amazing because Emmanuel kept saying it that everywhere he went to was beautiful i'm not saying they are not like bad sites or anything but the fact that you know a lot of news reports kind of highlight the bad parts is so saddening i can tell you south africa is really beautiful and so also for many other african countries now back to what we are talking about in Cosinati, the, the very successful young man he's been welcomed so well man big ups to you south african brothers and sisters you guys have been amazing man you guys have shown us that Emmanuel is not just a citizen of Nigeria like I said in one of former clips Emmanuel is indeed a citizen of Africa yes man Kenyans have done amazing by Emmanuel South Africans have done amazing by him too and I can tell you he has nothing but praises in his lips for you people it's been so smooth I mean the hosting was smooth the parties the Ah, man, Nii Lawal really, really did well for him and I can tell it also helped to boost Nii La Lawal's brand in South Africa in that he could announce organize such a, such a successful event and you know it's pretty a, a lot of money too let's not even talk about that so I'm sure Emmanuel is still basking in the in the euphoria of being you know hosted the way he was this young man also took out time to work while he was vacationing this is one thing that really stands Emmanuel, Emmanuel more out and there are so many clips to that effect now there's something I'm gonna tell you guys on our next clip we'll be talking about one of Emmanuel's major endorsements or one of our next clips rather we'll be talking about one of major, Emmanuel's major signing ons that happened in South Africa yes fam something big is loading I don't know how Emmanuel does it but it seems like the South African brothers and sisters we are waiting for him to just come he has signed four major endorsements yeah i've got the figures correct now he signed four normal five four major endorsements in south africa within the space of five days five days that is amazing i don't know anyone else who has done this now this young man as usual you know he loves to take pictures you know brands always call him up to do pictures for them i think to wear their collections and take pictures and then his personal pictures this young man has been touring the beautiful city of Cape Town like I said before but this time around it was really cool because while he was taking pictures some school school kids ran into him and that was the most amazing clip I have seen ever I'm not exaggerating right here you know it's wanting to be a star in Nigeria and I think to be a star in Africa and I can let and I'm proud to say that Imano Omor Jr. is an African star the moment people can recognize you from just seeing you on TV I mean when they see you in real life they begin to shout man those people must be really starstruck now the interesting thing is that this happened at the airport and this also happened on the streets of Cape Town he wasn't going there to wait for them he was actually taking pictures when this happened so I see this as very cool man this is what all of us are praying for now one very interesting thing on the clip yeah the clip is coming up very soon so you stay tuned one very interesting thing about this clip is how Emmanuel was warm to them you know sometimes celebrity carry celebrities carry airs man when you see them oh they're frowning they're boning and 
quote, forgive me my non-Nigerians, Boni means like squeezing your face, in <laughs> quote, if you can really squeeze your face. I'm just in my Nigerian parlance here because I'm sure a lot of Africans here will understand what I'm saying. So he welcomed them so well and that's, in my opinion, the coolest thing ever. When you have a celebrity who loves you just as much as you love him, these cool kids were screaming. And one thing I really like about this young man is he didn't even tell maybe a photographer to get rid of those children. Personally, I've seen celebrities do that. Yes, I've seen celebrities that once people begin to like come very close to them, they want to like shove people off and all of that. But we saw how he welcomed them. We saw and he put up his smile. Trust me, that young man may have been tired as at that time. Who knows what time it was? I mean, when kids come back from school, but he was still very warm with them. Now, here's the clip. Check it out. <laughs> Wow, woo. to think that they photobombed this picture and even allowed them, man, that is so mature. I must tell you, Imano Umo is a good man. This is true, man. Some people would have opted to like take pictures privately and all of that after them, or even allow the photographer to take pictures with the school kids. This is so smooth. I am telling you, Emmanuel Umo is hmm, a celebrity material. If you know what I mean, he's someone that needs to be studied, his approach with his fans. I mean, these are children. He could have told them, of, oh, you're too young, you're under 18, I shouldn't even be taking pictures with you. But he had that very cool, warm, and yet very respectful smile. Indeed, Emmanuel Omo is going far. I really admire the way he does his things, his, his approach to life. Man, I'm learning so much. You know, we all pray one day that we'll be celebrities in our own right. I will do big things and get noticed by the rest of the world. But this young man here is just 24 and is telling us how we should treat people. I mean, you don't necessarily need to walk around feeling like you're the king of the world. Not at all. Not at all. This man understands that, you know, it's the people that make celebrities. People on the streets, people that voted for them, people that wish them well, people that literally send them gifts and all of that. And that's why he was so welcoming to them. This is really heartwarming. I mean, you know, when it concerns cool kids and all of that, you see these innocent ones wanting to rush to hug him and all of that, and it's just, it's just amazing. Man, I believe that, you know, this is one of the reasons this young man is so blessed. He's warm, he's approachable, and most importantly, he's kind. I mean, his smile alone tells it all. Very, very approachable. I mean, who wouldn't want to love this kind of person? And that is why I really, I really, I really find it very disturbing that some people are still dragging him the way they do, even up to yesterday night. In fact, Imano's absence from Nigeria, I felt would have, you know, that was a lot of dragging and all of that. But contrary to that, there's still been lots of dragging going on on his page, and I'm happy that his fans have very cordially edged those people out. Indeed, it's 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 really interesting to know that. We, a celebrity can have fans who want to stand up for him and then, you know, counter claims against him. Yes, on the WhatsApp page of, I won't call the names of one of his fan pages like that. Some people said a lot of things about him that I felt, you know, terribly disturbed about. But any which ways, let's just leave it off. I wish this young man so much good. In fact, I, it's left the place of wishing. I can tell you that so much good is already coming his way. He has stayed humble, stayed very cool, stayed very nice. His manner of approach, in my opinion, or his approachability rather, is a hundred over hundred. This young man, I'm telling you, every aspiring celebrity needs to sit down and understand why and how Emmanuel communicates with his fans. Yeah, it could literally affect, help, you know, positively build your business, your relationship with your customers. Because I believe that he sees his fans as customers, people that could bring him good things, you know. I mean, a good word put in could be all he needs to get an endorsement in a huge brand. And I can tell you that Emmanuel Lumont is getting all the endorsements, getting all the good skits off of his personality. And of course, he's a child of grace, so you cannot take away the God factor from anything Emmanuel does. He always says it. Now, this is Biggie's Baby TV. I'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section about everything I have said. Indeed, it's been a pleasure. Actually, it's more than a pleasure discussing with you guys, having you guys comment, having you guys like our clips. You guys are amazing. Let's get it to at least 200 likes, fam. It helps, you know, with the YouTube algorithm to tell people more about our channel and all of that. I love you guys. And if you're new here, please don't forget, like I said before, to subscribe, like, share, turn on your post notification bell. And when you're commenting, let me know the country you're commenting from. God bless you guys. And until our next clip, please keep showing love. Yes, yes.